What's up guys? I'm out here in the shop again today and I've been working on a special project for a friend of mine. They, uh, I had to repair a bunch of bar stools so I needed a bunch of metal brackets. So uh, how am I going to cut all those brackets? Well, I needed a plasma cutter, but I didn't want to spend the money for a big commercial one. So we did the YouTube thing. We built our own. Let me show you what's going on here. So what we've got is a laser cutter that I bought off of AliExpress for about uh, $280. It's a large format. It can do about uh, a meter and a half squared. And I converted it. Uh, it can also run laser. It can also run a router head. Uh, but I've converted it for a plasma torch. So uh, I've got a 60 amp plasma torch uh, head on here. And it's paired up with a Best Arc. Uh, BTC 500 DP. It's pretty popular right now. They're selling like crazy all over the internet. Uh, I'm extremely happy with it. It's a pilot arc torch, so it doesn't have to contact the metal in order to start up. Anyway, it uh, there's my obligatory Diet Coke ad. Um, anyway, the uh, the torch head ties to the uh, best arc, and I've routed all the cabling up through the arm and back down uh, into the gantry over here. But what makes this unit work really, really well is what's down here on those two silver tubes you see. Um, the biggest thing with plasma cutters is torch height control. And typically that's done with a uh, voltage divider and a, uh, a special relay circuit that monitors the voltage coming off the plasma arc itself and adjust it based on as it goes up or down it changes the height of the uh, of the torch head but that's all has to be done through software it has to be controlled through your your uh, uh, software and so forth I would, didn't want to go that that complicated so I came up with a different way to do it uh, which is using a couple of limit switches sensors and uh, it monitors the height based on the proximity to the metal itself so I'll show you how that works and uh, if you guys like uh, to see how that operates I might do another video on just how I made that uh, but let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because I'm trying to get followers so uh, without further ado I'm gonna fire this thing up and I'll take my uh, other camera and I'll get a close-up while this thing's cutting and I'll show you how it works let me just set this camera back on the tripod Kind of an overview there for you. All right, so I'm going to finish the video over here on my other camera. Now, I normally run this unit off of what I've got here is this is a, a mini Windows PC, and that's running Lightburn software. And this is a special relay box that I have set up that operates the torch head control and sends the signals over to the plasma cutter to start cutting. And then this is the actual uh, <laughs> the factory laser cutter control board that came with the laser cutter. Uh, I just added some cooling fans and upgraded some of the chips inside so that they run a lot better. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me just get this set up here because I have the torch height, I mean the, uh, the input to the plasma torch is disconnected so that's connected now anyway I'll show you how I get this thing going I'm just running a uh, team viewer and there's the uh, patterns you can see there so let me just uh, I'm gonna run it through a quick test sequence just to make sure that the plasma cutter is gonna um, go over the right area so I'm just gonna hit the frame button and you'll see it's, uh, it's going to just go around the, uh, the whole unit, make sure that it's going to cut it where I want to cut it. And you'll see those little red lights coming on and off. What those are doing is sensing the metal. Now, I don't have the torch light control turned on at the moment uh, as far as to move the motor up and down. But you'll see when I'm actually cutting how that operates. All right, so it looks like we're all good. I'm just going to go over here and hit a home sequence and that's just going to home the unit so it knows exactly where it is and the next thing I'm going to do is just fire off a cut make sure my torch is on everything's good there we hit start and you'll now see those lights going on and off depending on the height of the torch light. The 
flickering you see is when it, it's adjusting the tight. I go get a uh, flyers to pick up the uh, piece. Obviously, it's a little hot. Just want to show you the quality of the cut. All right. Obviously, we have some dross underneath, but I'm going to show you in my next video how we get rid of that easier than any other method you've seen before. So uh, stick around, and uh, like I said, hit that like button if you like my content, and uh, hope to see you in the next video.